Yes. Welcome to a special edition of the Bold and Beautiful Mini Spotlight here on JLJ Media. I'm your host, James Lott Jr. My co-host, Amanda Russ. Hello, I'm Miss Amanda. Hi. Uh, Terry Gouveia couldn't make it. She sent her love to all of you and to Tanner. Uh, so, well, we can speak for her. We will. <laughs> um, and <laughs> it's it, sad. Well, yeah, we'll speak for, we're going to speak for her, so you don't care. Oh, nice. um, he plays Dr. As we call, we call him, Tammy. They call him Amanda. What do we call him? <laughs> Okay, we gave you a nickname. It's okay. Doctor. Wait, doctor, you, you ready? ready? Mm. Doctor Finnegan. Oh, <laughs> and Amanda blushes. Funny. Yes, here he is, John Finnegan. Here he is. It's Tanner Novlin. Hi, Tanner. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. This is exciting. Yes, that's fine, dude. Thank you for coming on. We've been wanting for a while. Uh, okay, so first of all, we was we was want to tell you you are a breath of fresh air for the show. Like we said it from the very beginning, the three of us liked you from your presence coming on. Um, but like we were just talking off camera, you're not the first person in your family on the show. Can you tell folks who was on the show before you? My my beautiful wife Kayla was 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 on the show before me long long ago, which yeah. was like it was it was like so amazing because especially during the start of this process when I first got cast, you know, a soap opera can be a bit of a different animal, and so she was able to give me a few tips and tricks on the few, you know, the first few days. So this is your first um, soap audition. You didn't, you didn't for any other soaps or anything. It's your first one. No, I'd never, uh, I've never been on any other soap. No, this is the first one. Wow. Yeah. Which was and, fun. And, and how does this, how does come into your orbit? Cause I know you do films, other TV. So how does come into your orbit? I just, I auditioned for it. And my, my audition was the last one uh, before like uh, a global pandemic. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> still going through that. Yeah, remember that? <laughs> that little lockdown thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that thing that we've been dealing with for the past you know, year and a half. <laughs> yeah. um, it was literally, I did my uh, chemistry read with Jackie on, I think I still have the email because it's funny. It was like March 10th and wow. March 12th was when, you know, we had a global pandemic, a serious lockdown yeah. and stuff. And so I was able to go through the normal process and I know different uh, you know, people come to like Delon had to had to do the Zoom stuff and, and that and, and navigate all that. But I was lucky I got to actually, you know, go in the room and meet Brad and, and, and Casey oh, wow. and, the whole, and the whole producing team and, and do it normally. So uh, that was nice. But yeah. Uh, yeah, when we yeah. got shooting, I was right back. I was, we were, you know, we were right into this new pandemic shooting thing, which was, was groundbreaking. And yes, you were the, you guys were the first. Um, I want to give a shout out to Casey, the producer who's been on the show. I love Casey. He said he's going to get me a role on there, a little yeah. role. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. I'll get you on there. That'd be fun. fun. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, but yes, you got, Bold and Beautiful was the first of a TV series to go back and try. You guys were the guinea pigs. Um, we were. And we've already joked with, with, with Matt and Annika, and Corey, everybody about the, Hi, I love you. I love you. Yeah, oh, across I the love room. you too. And oh, hey, can we give it up for my wife, Kayla, again? I mean, hey. she came in and doubled for Jackie. And like, thank goodness she was the, you know, she was a similar height as Jackie. And yes. we were able to make those scenes worth because I mean, yeah, it's you can only stare at each other and give each other eyes for so long before the fans are like, all right, y'all need to kiss already. Yeah, something <laughs> So, I mean, without Kayla coming in and, yeah. and helping us with that, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to move that storyline along. And so I was, that was good on her. And were you, were you ever got to, hang, got to make out with my wife on? on oh, yeah, I get I, oh yeah, we know. It was, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Uh, I mean, there was, there was an interesting part of shooting it once because we were do, starting to do a lot of split screens yes and so jackie and i would be doing lines from eight feet apart and then she would walk up to his uh or i guess further and then she'd walk up to eight feet stop kayla would come in and we would shoot my coverage and it just so happened that kayla was there my wife and she's staring at me with these beautiful eyes and just right. off the corner i see jackie you know, off off camera, just out of the set with her legs crossed and you know, reading her lines. <laughs> she to me. But she has the exact same outfit on, the same, you know, the same hair. And I'm like, here's my wife, and and here's my TV wife. And my, my wife is looking at me and I'm kissing, but it's not her voice. I'm like, this is I'm like, Jackie, you need to go over that. You gotta sit over there. Like, oh, oh, okay, sorry. Oh my God. So it was weird, but we figured it out. And I think we pulled it off, which was the most important part. And yeah, hats off to the whole producer and Wilmot and the Casey and everyone who like were able to bring us back because that was um, 
Amanda, okay. did he pull it off, Amanda? Did he pull um, it off? Yes, yes. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> but at least, well, hey, Tana, you didn't get the mannequin. I didn't get them out of poor Jackie. Yeah, I, have, up, doll. I have some pictures of poor Jackie having to having to climb the <laughs> the, Nord, the Nordstrom <laughs> mannequin or wherever the heck we got we got that. And there wasn't any um, you know dolls involved in our storyline, which I nope. know there there was had to deal with dolls. But yes, it was funny when when you know eventually the protocols were were lifted and then you know Jackie and I were able to get closer because it's so strange to be doing these intimate scenes so far away just as an actor, it was, it was tricky. And, you know, I think we worked through it and, and, you know, everyone was able to figure it out, but when we were able to get close, it was, you know, we had great chemistry before, but then even more so now. And, and it's been, you know, it's been fun to like fill out this, this storyline. As an actor, how did you deal with that? Um, trying to act from afar, from a certain distance, was it the same process of like, cause you're not actually touching, which is the added mm -hmm. bonus to an yeah. instrument scene. How did you how did you navigate that yourself? Well, for me, I think it was trickiest at the start. That was the storyline with the um uh pain, the the pain and the opioid yes. addiction, the stuff yes. went through. And so like my impulses so often were just to go to her, you know. And I know uh, Torsten has talked about this. We had to do a scene where, you know, she's she realizes that uh, Jackie has has an addiction and he was just imagine that's his daughter, you know, and he he wasn't able to go and comfort her. He had to do a split screen and kind of sit there. And, you know, we, we just have to have faith and luckily our directors are talented enough and we can lean on them to know that they're shooting it tight and they're, you know, they're making it all work. And so you just have to trust that. And luckily it did. Yeah, we had said that. We, we kept saying the only thing missing was them actually hugging. You guys all hugged. Yeah, but it was. There were some amazing was, scenes. There were some amazing yeah. scenes, but it felt like, it almost felt like a play on some level. Like it was a play. Like it was a stage mm -hmm. play where you kind of move around, but it was just, but it was like, yeah. We, we had a joke. It was the COVID triangle because there was three pieces needed. One person in that corner, one person in this corner, one person, we just yell at each other. <laughs> oh, we made fun of it, trust me. And it's funny. <laughs> we're just like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I love you. I love you too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. oh, you're down the, down the, you're down there. Okay, bye. You know, we, but yeah. we appreciate Bon Beautiful taking the chance to, to come back mm -hmm. and try something that the other soaps actually followed too. They followed suit. So Bo was the first. Yeah, all the productions in, in, in the area. So, yeah, yes. Now, okay. So, like you said, you're a breath of fresh air. You came in here as a new character because <clears throat> a lot, I, and I want to find out who has filled you in on the history mm -hmm. of like a Steffi and a Wyatt and a Liam. And uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot of um, incestuous stuff that goes on there. <laughs> like, but you were like the first person who came on who was not a Forrester, not a Logan, not a Maroney, not a Spencer. That's why we loved it. So who kind of filled you in, if anybody has, on the history of these? Well, you're so right. And that's what's so been so fun about this about this role, not only just for me, is is so many of those characters have such a, a, a awesome, amazing, very complex history that you a lot of times, you know, you, ha you have to honor or, or, and see how that was worked before. I get to come in and we really just get to play and i and it's been amazing to see what the writers and 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 brad have, have been able to to come up with to you know make this character enrich him and, and really be able to go in so many different directions and not be held to those certain histories i mean there's so many times you're like well that would be a, an interesting storyline so and so and so and they could oh no wait 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 they're cousins. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> forgot about, forgot that for a second. You know? yeah, yeah. So yeah, for, for Finn to be able to come in and um, really go anywhere, the sky is really the limit. And, and we're really these next uh, few whiles as we move through this wedding and, and, and having the baby haze. And, and now we get to see a lot more color of Finn and his history and, and what's about to come. It's, it's going to be really fun. Well, this as this airs, the wedding will have happened. The big reveals we already know about it anyway. So let's talk about that in a second. But Amanda, do you have a question? Your chance. I I was curious. Was it really difficult for you to walk into a soap and just start acting because you you fit in well. But you have to be like a certain caliber to make it on the show because it goes so fast and you're always going to be acting against usually a really seasoned person, yeah. <laughs> a really good actor. Was it hard for you or did you just feel like, oh, this is my thing? Um, 
I mean, a bit of both. I think, uh, yeah, they, we, that's one thing about it is, uh, I think soaps, you, you, you really just get thrown into the deep end and then they're like, let's see you swim. Um, but luckily, uh, I was opposite, uh, Jackie a lot of the time and she's so giving, uh, not only as an actress, but kind of, you know, little tips here and there and, and, and Torsten and, and I had a lot of scenes with him at the start of it. And, uh, it's really fun. You know, the cast helps each other out and, yeah, you, you got to You got to kind of be with it. And unluckily, I'm a pretty flexible, flexible guy and I can roll, roll with whatever's happening. And they say that's one take and we got it. And I'm like, <laughs> well, I kind of, but all right, if you guys like it, all right, we'll keep it on. And we just, I mean, this, this, this ship has been at sea for what is it? 36 years. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm just at this point, you know, mopping the deck, doing my, doing yeah. my thing. Hoping to fit in with the rest of the crew, um, but luckily it's a really great cast and crew, and and um, I think that's what really keeps the show going. Yeah, folks out here, you, you I mean, we say it all the time: soap acting, you cannot sleep on it. It is quick. They're filming up to seventy episodes. It's really hard, you guys. We shoot a lot. Like your brain starts to spin a lot of the time, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, what?" <sighs> okay, <Yes>. we're <laughs> you know, and a lot of repetitive stuff where you're you know stretching a lot of scenes, and they're very similar, but you want to make them different, and we don't have the time. Uh, to be able to do that but luckily we have such seasoned <laughs> crew and and producers that know how to make all that stuff work and, and we're able to put together an amazing show you know and you and you you've been on a little over a year but i was just thinking your character's been through a lot i mean oh, like yeah. you guys oh. right man you guys have been through i mean you i mean from all the thomas stuff Oh the yeah, stuff the Liam's. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. For, for, for as as mellow as as supposedly Finn's, you know, ER days were, just going into work, you know. Yeah. You know he met this <laughs> Stephen Forrester, and his 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 drama meters went off the chart. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's still trying to keep up to these these Foresters. <laughs> yeah, he's been through a lot. Oh. <laughs> It's like, you know, Tanner's Canadian. You got, they, don't, they don't have any problems up there. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> now you're in Forrester land and it's crazy talk. Yeah, old Forrester land, that's no. for sure. No, but no, you have, I mean, there's been a lot of storylines. And uh, yeah, they've been so fun. And I think I think I see the writers and, and Brad like having fun with that. Being like, oh, what if we do this? And going in these different directions and trying on these different things. And I every time I get a new script, I just can't wait to see, you know, where we're going and what's up. I'm sure uh, we had big laughs back in the day with Liam, and when you're getting tired, when Finn's character was getting tired of Liam, and finally stood up to him, oh, Finn has a backbone. Okay, Finn, uh -huh. uh, uh, here, just take it. And you were telling him about himself, and the fans started they couldn't they couldn't get enough of you. They couldn't get enough of it. Yeah, yeah well, that was a really I really that was an interesting storyline because no one really held him accountable for any of that, and everyone Ever. was too close <laughs> to the situation. I think, and so finally. We had a fresh face in there saying, wait a second. You can't, hey, man. Like, <laughs> for yeah. long? No, you know? And it, yeah, it, it was really, yeah, those were fun scenes to shoot. and and But a delicate, you know, storyline for Finn to, because he is new and he's interjecting himself. So he has forever ties to Steffi with, the, with baby Kelly. And so he has to honor that, but also, huh, 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 you know, so... Yeah, it was, it was fun to play that one. I like that storyline. You also had the Vinny thing, too. We we joked with Matt Atkinson about this. The whole, because back was, you know, was doing the protocols and the whole, like, they go to your face. They went to Vinny's face. They went to Matt's face. They went to your face. We had to do that, so we, we, I just wanted to mention that with you. That was, that was kind of a fun, funny scene also when you guys were confronting. Yeah, um, that was that was fun. It was cool to team up with Thomas for, for a little bit and, and have a little redemption uh, in his character that Matt got to you know, fill out a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, th th those was, in those, that was interesting too. Okay. Fights. And I got, I, I got to mention just once. Okay. You talked about <laughs> from having your wife come on to eight feet apart with, with Jackie to the infamous water birth. <laughs> yeah. Could you tell we haven't touched in a month or a year? <laughs> Oh my! Everyone, I mean, I was like, I'm kind of turned on at the same time. Like, like, should I be like? I mean, it's supposed to be a water birth. I'm like, I'm kind of like, I don't. I was confused. So I was watching it, yeah. there, but it was like they're definitely in there together. It's actually <laughs> they're, 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 uh -huh. yeah. Well, I, that was one of my questions. I, I was reading it. and I'm like, oh, I'm getting in the water. Okay. <laughs> oh, maybe I delivered the baby. I'm a doctor. That's kind of right, cool. Right. Right. Oh, right. Just just massaging her back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. And then I talked with Torsten about it and he's like, oh, they, they did the same thing with me. I had to go in there and do it. Like, okay. And so he showed me his scenes. I'm like, oh, it was actually really, really beautiful and really great. So yeah, it was pretty sensual. And, um, but hey, who doesn't like that at 1230 on an afternoon? Huh? <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, I think, I mean, everyone was like, what did I just watch? <laughs> yeah, it was that shocking. Just shows, that just shows, that just shows the chemistry, you know, and, and <laughs> It just shows the chemistry. <laughs> yes, two-time Emmy winner Jacqueline McInnes Wood. Yes, right. you you have a, a side by side. You guys are good together. Um, hmm. That's really great. Uh, Mandy, you have another question. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, okay, well, okay, well, well. I would, I would love to see scenes, more scenes with KKL, Catherine, Kelly. Hmm. You love Catherine. Yeah. I would like, I would also love to see some more scenes with uh, Eric, you and Eric, John McCook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you first came on, I didn't know if you realized that you were saying everything the fans wanted to say. Mm -hmm. And it was like every day, yes, tell them, <laughs> yes. Because everybody gives Liam a pass all the time. Uh huh. Well, it was, it is really kind of fun. And I think Finn's been positioned a little bit in that because he doesn't have any of those family ties. Uh, you know, yet as we move forward, we, we start to learn how that's all. Uh, yes. But um, yeah, he, he can kind of be the voice of the fans or the voice of, of some sort of reason because he doesn't have these crazy complex histories, you know, and he can say, wait a second, guys, this isn't that complicated. Okay. Liam. You shouldn't drink and then stay over at your ex-wife's house, okay? <laughs> right. Maybe you can go home to your wife, make sure it's not a doll, okay? Can we just throw that out real quick. All right. Liam, All right. You know? So it's really fun to be able to be in that position to be like, wait a second, guys. And also, you know, being a doctor, he's a little more clinical and and he's a little bit more like, okay, what are we dealing with? How do we get to the solution? And uh, a lot of the other characters in the show have a lot more emotional uh, ties, you know, they're more creative types or and stuff like that, you know. So. Um, yeah, he sometimes is able to be a little more cut and dry. But are you shocked that your character, you as an actor, I mean, you, are, you, are you shocked that your character forgave Stephanie with the affair with Liam? Yeah, but I think, you know, not really. Um, yeah, I think, it, I mean, that's anytime that happens early in a relationship, it's a bit of a red flag. But I think having that portrait up for that long and knowing that she's been in this kind of vicious cycle of, of, of kind of, you know, manipulation through Liam and, and going back and forth and always having this tie and, and not being able to have that break away that it was almost uh, like a bit of a relapse in the sense of, of a similar to her drug addiction where she just kind of went back to her old self and he believes in her so much and loves her so much and is such a champion of everything that she is that he was able to kind of separate his emotions from that and, and able to get through it. Makes sense, okay, man. That makes sense. That makes sense on some level. That no, does. <laughs> on okay. some level, I mean, that's what we aim for. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, like in real life, you're like you know, so, you know, I mean, I don't know if I'm that happy, but I'm like, yeah. But, I mean, but no, it, you know, Finn is always showing he's in love with Steph, that he admires mm -hmm. her and he's in love with her. I, mean, I think that's always been shown, right, man, from the beginning, right? He's always, he's always admired her. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, and your chemistry together on screen really comes through so the you're doing great <laughs> and I'm so, I'm we're happy. all so happy you're on the show you know and, and and so am i so i hopefully that shows too I, I have such a you know a ball every time i go into work and it's yeah it, it's really fun yeah it's been good. okay so now as i said uh -oh. as this airs <laughs> Some episode. I already saw. I'm already caught up. I've watched this. I haven't watched today's yet, but I've caught up with everybody so far. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna see some more stuff. It's the big wedding, mm -hmm. um, and so this is your first daytime wedding. You get to have one, and, and then they're yeah. making. You saw the invitations. They're really cute and everything. Um, but we get to meet your parents. Um, one is uh, Naomi Masuda, which we get to see an Asian American representation. Yes, I like that. Nice. Thank you bold. But another legend, Ted King. You get to have Ted King play your father. He's so good. Mm -hmm. um, What's well, like to have Finn has parents? You're not a pod person. How's that? Well, it's again. <laughs> <laughs> You're not an alien. Not an alien. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I actually have a history, guys. And we're gonna sit and watch this thing fill out. And it gets it gets deeper and deeper. And and yeah, you you guys just hold your hats, you know. Yeah. But uh yeah, Nomi and, and Ted are so fun. We had, like again, such natural chemistry. I think the first day on set, you know, we're we're playing, uh, I'm playing our son, they're my parents, you know, you hope to have right away. And I just remember saying, like, hi mom, hi dad. And they're like, hi son. You know, and we sat down and chatted for a second and then it was just, it was natural. And um, yeah, John and, uh, or Jack and Lee Finnegan are, are, are going to be some interesting you know, characters to this wedding. As as everyone knows, you you marry not only the person that you love, you you always marry into a family. And so Finn's been pretty, you know, vague about what he's come. It's been a lot about the Finne <laughs> or the, the Foresters, of course, as it always is. Uh, so now we get to try this shoe on for a minute and, and, and seal that mold. So I think Finn's nervous about everything coming together. I gotta say something. Yeah, go ahead, man. You, you had me so nervous when I was watching the scenes. Every time she tried to bring up anything about your parents, your past, you always got this like face of like, <laughs> Like, oh, I don't want to tell, like, and I'm like, no, not perfect, Finn, no. Well, it, it wasn't, yeah. So, the, yeah, this will be me being adopted. Yeah, there's a sensitive subject for him. Um, and he carries a lot of, uh, you know, questions about, and actually you would about, and a little some probably that's him showing a lot of his insecurity, um, you know, because he was given away when he was a child. And, and a lot of people who had great parents, you know, might not understand that but that's a void that he's had in his life for a long time and his parents his adopted parents were just you know wonderful his his relationship with his mom especially she's a doctor and i think he um you know he's, he's probably a bit of a mama's boy in that way um but knowing that you know your 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 biological parents are are still out there and and even being a doctor having um not knowing a history of, of, of hereditary like medical conditions or, or stuff simple like that. He's always kind of had questions about. And so that's always been underneath him. And, and that's when it you know, starts to bubble out. Well, you know, Tanner, I just over the weekend, I just met some new cousins through Ancestry.com. Oh, fun. Uh, I did. And, and they were and their mother was a doctor. Oh, wow. So when they came to see us, be my siblings are like, oh, my God, we look like you. Like it was their it was their first time. Seeing, I never thought this was my adopted. I never thought this before, but seeing people who look like them. Oh, you like yeah. Aunt So and So? I saw a picture. You like Uncle So and So? So I always feel for people who are adopted, it must be a sensitive subject for some because you you're surrounded by people who don't look like you by any chance. Um, yeah, but they're your family. They're your family. Exactly. Um, I always offended. I always offended. Finn, you know, people are like, well, he should tell her. I was like, well, no, it's not. It's not a subject you just bring up out of nowhere. I mean, it's like it's not a, you know, his parents, like you said. You're my mom mm -hmm. and dad. I mean, like dad. anything, like anything on this show, we, we did wait to the very last minute to mention what it was, but you know, it was, a, it is a sensitive subject, you know, and uh, he was, it wasn't just something you bring out over, over, over dinner. Um, oh. And just, I guess it just never came up. We were dealing with an opioid addiction and a cheating. <laughs> right. And yeah. You were busy, Tanner. You had other things. <laughs> you're busy. You're busy. Uh, uh, you know, Thomas had a, hematoma so there, there's other things happening there we just we, it got pushed to the back <laughs> yeah i'm like come on give him a break I'm like give him a break it's well fun. and really like finn is himself he doesn't really necessarily talk a lot about himself or like what he's no. feeling or what he's going through it, it, he always is a, he's a he's a doctor he's a giver he, he's, he's trying to take care of people as much as he can all the time so getting into so going into this wedding it's your first big daytime wedding at the forester mansion yeah where all weddings go uh reception of course to follow of course um were you a little nervous? Were you excited? These are iconic places in daytime history, of course. You know, the Forrester Mansion, having the weddings. What was it like for you preparing for this, uh, these couple of, it's airing over a couple of days, but however long you shot it. Yeah, we, uh, I, I was uh, extremely excited because again, like we haven't been able to necessarily have these big groups. And so I was just grateful to be able to, to have everyone. And John McCook was there. Kathy Lane was there. You know, everyone is, all these iconic um, characters in one room and um, for this big wedding yeah I was just I was just excited to, to shoot it and, and to have everyone together joking around and 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 teasing each other and and everyone giving such like amazing performances I mean uh, Thorsten uh, Ridge has, a, has an has a, like, amazing speech uh, in it you know everyone does says their little little part and it was pretty it was really real and, and, and emotional and yeah it was really fun to shoot those 
Okay, the big thing. Amanda, we got to read the big thing. It's <laughs> happening. I mean, first of all, do you do you even comprehend <laughs> that your biological mother is not only for Bold and Beautiful and Y and R, Young and Restless, but for daytime television is one of the all time most popular characters slash villains of all time, and she's going to be your biological mother, Miss Sheila. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you comprehend how big she? I is? mean, I just. No, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, no. it's like such an honor. And um, Kimlin is like, it is so fun to watch her work and, and every, every little like, like manner, she is so good at playing a villain and, and being a manipulator and to watch her just, just work her, even her tone of her voice and everything is, and, and she, a lot of times you're listening to her and you're like, well, she actually, makes a lot of sense she should she should have kidnapped that baby you know maybe, maybe Steffi was onto something there you know and you're like wait a second no she should not have kidnapped the baby you know so it's, it's so fun to watch Kimberlyn um and, and and her performance and and for Finn it's interesting because I mean this is his biological mother he's this is someone who's feeling his voice so at first I mean this is this is incredible this is exciting this is the best day ever until he finds out the relationship I'd have some calm. <laughs> Might be a little complicated. <laughs> I just that's just a smidge. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I mean, because I know Kimberlyn and she's actually we're in a book together. We we know each other. She's one of the nicest people, actually. Um oh, yeah. she in real life, she's a giver. She has, you know, she has businesses, she's a giver to her boy. She's like a really nice, like she's nothing. I mean, I know everybody, everybody's <laughs> no. okay, everybody, well, acting. Well, thank thank God for that. <laughs> she's nothing right. like she. Yeah, she loves not technically walking the streets. That's <laughs> Okay, some so fans get upset. Like, she is, yeah, but she that's what I mean. She's so talented that I could see why you're like, well, no one could do, be like this without having a little bit, you know, it's, yeah. that's Kimberly. She's, she's not at all. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be exciting, right? To watch you guys go through this journey because Sheila is a, a very uh polarizing presence. And then, of course, Amanda, what's the, what's the other big question about Finn's parentage? Well, now we have to find out who his dad is. Who's the mm -hmm. daddy? Who's yeah. the daddy? daddy. We have theories. You have theories? I don't even know yet. So you guys can tell Pitch <laughs> me your theories. Okay. Oh, man, uh, it could it could be Eric. Because she was very in love with Eric. She's probably still in love with Eric. See, and that's what's so fun about uh, you know, again with Finn coming back to to, to have ties with with a character with so much history is like Brad and the team of writers can really go anywhere with this. You know what I mean? Because you know. She she's been around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, she's been with a few men. She's been with a few men. Um, yeah, she's been with a few folks. I mean, Man, but, that's what we, and that's the ones we know about, guys. <laughs> that's true. No, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. I mean, it could be somebody we just forgot about, or we didn't know she did. She done did. She done did. Um, we, get, we, get, we don't. We don't know. We don't know at all. But I just think that Finn. Now people have been wanting and waiting for. A Finn backstory, so now we're getting it. And I always tell people, it's a half-hour show. You got to rotate characters. People have guarantees and things. So they, I I'll say, they'll get to Finn. They'll get to him. And this is like, mm -hmm. and now it's your turn to shine. And we just, we are such big fans of yours. We're so oh, right, like, very beginning. That, we're, we're big fans. Big, big. Sure. Fans. Oh, that means a lot. Thanks. Yeah, it, it's it's been fun to get molded into, you know, folded into this crazy cookie batter we're working up so i uh, uh happy to like be, be doing my part and i i'm just i just love being on the show it's so much fun every day oh uh, like i have a question Go one ahead. question right. i'm so curious because i know i know because i've been watching soaps for years i know that they give you a stack of papers and you have to learn all of those lines do you have any tricks or um, okay. like how did what's your process yeah, it, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. Uh, cause I I also shoot a show called um, Roswell, New Mexico on yes, the CW. Yes, yes. And yes. Uh, it's been really f interesting to go back and forth between the two uh, meet, like in the sense of, well, I'm like I get my I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what we're doing today, and we're doing it a hundred times. And there's like, <laughs> time, and we're outside, and it's like, you know, I'm like, like honestly, then sometimes they know they I'm like, do we like not have this yet? Like we're still doing, this, you know, and so. It's just, it's, it is, it's different, you know, and then this being my first soap, um, 
yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work away f- from work. And, um, oh, okay. you know, I've tried out different things. I got a young daughter, uh, Poppy, who's two and a Aww. really you know busy house, which is, which is great. And so I, I found my sanctuary. This is true. I go in my car oh. in the driveway <laughs> by myself because it's, you know, I can talk in there. And so the neighbors oh, yeah. don't think yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Sheila or whatever I'm yelling <laughs> and all the stuff in the name of the one are like, oh, boy, that household, they <laughs> hope they make it, you know, <laughs> I'm in my car. So no one like hears me. Cause I can, then I can talk out, you know, run the lines out loud and there's just less, less distractions in there. Cause you know, my ADHD kicks in. I'm like, oh, let's go on my phone for a second, you know, or whatever it is. I can stay focused. And so, yeah, I lock myself in my car and I, I just run, run, run. And, then I go to work and whoever I'm working with that day, maybe we'll, we'll literally run it once or twice and make sure we have the, and then it goes on TV in 180, how many countries? <laughs> well, I know you're on a, you're on a worldwide, international show, nationally shown show, which is different than mm-hmm. some of the others. That is, I mean, Bold and Beautiful is well, it's like, you know, it's known all over the world, in Australia yeah. and, you know, in Monte Carlo and Italy. And, and I can't France. wait to to do, I know the show does, uh, sometimes yeah. we do shoot in those locations. I know they did a wedding in Australia and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm really, I always, I, I get this from a lot of the cast, like, oh, well, wait till we go here and wait till you meet the friends in this country and that country. Because I have had a unique experience and only... Um, you know, working with, I was able to do a, a daytime Emmy presentation, which was really cool to, to go there and represent the show. It was such an honor. Um, but even that was a bit of a hybrid, you know, not that we were there and separated and had to shoot it a little different, um, which it, it's okay. You know, I'm, I'm grateful to be working and on the show, but I cannot wait to, to meet everybody. And, yeah. and it's, it always is fun engaging, you know, on social media or like what it is, but to do meet and greets and, and actually talk to people, even just chatting with you guys is, is so much fun. Cause the show is so interesting, you know. There's a, there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> it's interesting. Hey, wait, Roswell's coming back for what? It's fourth season, fifth season. Uh, yeah, the third season's airing now, and then uh, they just started shooting uh, season four. I think in a, a week or two. Did you watch the original? You know what? I didn't watch the original. I saw, uh, right, watched some clips, it. clips of the original. I came on it at the end of season two. Yeah. Uh, I did two episodes uh, there, and then I have a have a nice little arc suit through through season three. But we shoot that in Santa Fe, and so when I'm not uh, doing my B and B, we get a little sometimes a little week hiatus. I, I sprint over there, and I and I go do that show, which has been really fun to to go back and forth because both. It's are a so fun great. show. I watch it. It's a fun show. It's fun. Yeah, fun. It's, a, it's a good show. Uh, everybody, Ted and Oakland, folks. Uh, thanks, for So, Ted, if they want to follow you online and say hi to you, where can they follow you? Yeah, go on. Uh, honestly, probably my Instagram is the best. I manage about one <laughs> Twitter. I'm a, I'm okay with Twitter. Uh, I might, I might get you a letter, but Instagram, uh, uh, Tanner Nolan underscore. Yeah. Tanner Nolan underscore. Someone has my Tanner Nolan. <laughs> I, I was, I was a little late to the game, I guess. Uh, oh, you're, you're correct. It is. It is that. I will put that. <laughs> in I, uh, you, you'll see. It's, it's. <laughs> uh, Amanda, tell folks where they can find you. You can find me on all the socials at the Bold and Beautiful Podcast. And I just put an episode out. It's t- it's titled, Who is Finn? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's about him. Well, we answered a little bit, a couple of those questions. Maybe. Yeah, we did, a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And our show, The Bold Beautiful Universe, is uh, on Facebook and Instagram and on Twitter. And I, we're all James Lott Jr. Just sold at James Lott Jr. on all social media platforms and on TikTok. Yeah, I'm on there, too. All right, oh, yeah. please take care of yourselves. Watch The Bold and Beautiful weekdays on CBS. Check your local listings or go to CBS.com for um, the reruns or you want to go back and see other episodes. Or go on YouTube. There's all these clips about Finn. They're all, they're all on YouTube, too. There's oh, all yeah. these clips. Here's but go YouTube. to CBS.com. Go to CBS to support them. Thank you very much, and thank you, Tanner, for being on. Everybody, please take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks, guys.